Hello everyone and welcome back to Blitz Brigade where today I will be conducting some more science because I'm going to be preparing to give the Shellborn an honest attempt. However, before I actually give it a review, I wanted to give it a chance because I have yet to play a single game with this thing because uh, I actually just purchased it. <laughs> so I haven't gotten a chance to use it in game yet. So we're just going to do a couple rounds where I just get familiar with... I feel like I enunciated that very poorly. Where I get familiar with the weapon to the point where I feel confident enough that I can give it a review. If I blow this up, oh my god. So because this isn't an honest attempt, and because I like this tip a lot, I'm going to be using the Prototype X when the situation calls for it, mostly for the movement bonus, however, because the movement bonus is a serious lifesaver. Oh, can I? This, uh, this controller is awfully twitchy. I might turn it off for right now. No, we'll see. We'll see how I feel in the next game. I honestly just need to get used to it. I've been playing a lot of Overwatch lately, so I'm really into using a controller right now. That's basically it. I love the way this gun, uh, I love the way it kind of wobbles a little bit, like that little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not a hook. It's, it's almost a buckle. It's not quite a buckle. What in the world? Oh, he's got a jetpack on. I was like, what am I looking at? <laughs> Oops, pardon me while I reload. You know what? I think I'm accidentally using my extra clip, so I'm just going to be using the controller to kind of jump around a little bit. Because I prefer jumping around with the controller than I do on a screen, just because you get that feedback. You get that feedback of being able to press a button and have it do and have you have your fingers feel it. Hey, Meta, I've got two prototype X's. Look at this. I got one, and I got two. So I'm probably going to be comparing this thing to the drum hammer a lot. I actually cracked a drum hammer today. I already had it, but I cracked one out of my 90 day gameplay bonus thing. Dang it, this is, uh, I gotta, I gotta use something else against the Q27 Predator. Because that splash damage is just too much here. You know what? We're conducting science. I'm going to disconnect my gamepad for right now. And let's just see how this goes without it. Because I, I, I can be a little bit more accurate with it. However, I like that I can shoot and jump and turn all at once while I'm using a uh, while I'm using a controller so I might end up going back to it that was quick I'm already back to the controller just because I like that I can jump and shoot at the same time see see what I mean like my my finger doesn't or my rather my thumb doesn't have to be in two different places at once in order to do that or I don't have to employ the use of my index finger could you imagine that having a claw over ooh there's a demolisher outside I saw his boots I saw his boots oh god just keep running just run. No, I can't. Oh, I respawned. Dear diary, today is the worst day ever. More later, XOXO. Dreadle. Man, it seriously takes care of snipers, like, in a second. Keep running. I can't stand this Q27. And I talked about it briefly in the Dragon Gun review, but I did want to just do a quick reminder. I am out of town at the moment. I am out camping. And today I am just bulk recording these videos, so that way you guys can have stuff to watch while I'm away. And unfortunately, I'm not going to have Wi-Fi or anything, so I won't be able to reply to comments. Or uh, So I apologize that I'm going to be notably absent, but don't let that stop you from leaving comments on the videos. I really enjoy having conversations with you guys down there. So I will try to respond to as many as I can when I get back. I'm just sorry for my absence temporarily. Now back, Now back to this. Actually, you know what? I forgot. This is just a science video. This isn't even a review, so that means I can talk about whatever I want, including the fact that I'm going camping with my father, and we do so annually. I think this is going to be... I, you've probably seen it if you've seen a year in montages 3, you've seen clips from our camping trips. But as I was saying, so if you've, if you've been on the channel for a while and you've seen a year in montages 3, then you've probably seen clips from the camping trip. However, I think I might even just try to do a vlog like one or two of these days, just so that way I can have something to do. I'm going to bring books. I'm going to have to read, guys. Like, I'm not going to have an outlet all the time. I won't be able to charge my phone, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to bring tools to write. I'm going to, I'm going to write and I'm going to read and draw and do things and do other crazy things like that to keep myself entertained. It's gonna be interesting. And I might also go, like, hang out down. There's, like, a little river that, that's occasionally full and stuff like that. It's really fun. I have a great time going. And my puppy's gonna be with us. Which is always fun. Jake loves it up there. Because he doesn't get to run around as much out here. He's He's got free reign of the place mostly, but, you know, he loves those big open fields. So that's where I'm gonna be over the weekend. 
after that, I'm just going to be on summer vacation. That's going to be it. I'm. This is uh, this is the last planned thing that I have besides uh, my second anniversary with Emily coming up in June. So you know what? I like this gun. I'm I'm so far I'm enjoying it. I'm not really finding a whole lot of people to kill. And beforehand, I was trying to compete with the Q27. Is there a gentleman in here? I thought I saw some movement. It's funny that this thing doesn't give a movement buff. I'm used to I'm used to medic weapons always giving movement buffs nowadays. Did I not get a single one of those? You've got to be kidding me. They were lined up and everything. Now I'm just trying to finagle my way around this demolisher. Didn't work. I see somebody saw my review before it even came out because I still haven't uploaded the review at this point in time. The dragon gun is suspiciously good. Everybody, everybody who was telling me that it was really good, you were right. You were absolutely right. My aim today is abysmal, but I think it's partially because I'm using the controller. But again, I like, I like being able to do more than one thing at once. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to win. You know, it's not surprising because it's a secondary weapon and it's not supposed to fill the role of a primary weapon. But this thing does not compete very well with splash damage weapons. It's not, again, it's uh, it's definitely powerful, and I think part of it is, or most of it is to blame on my absolutely terrible aim today. Most guns that require some degree of accuracy won't be able to compete with splash damage weapons all the time. Let's just be real. But with that said, I am enjoying this gun, and I can't wait to give it a review in just a moment here. We got about 17 seconds left in the game. Thank you everybody for watching me conduct science on the Shellborne. Uh, tune in to see what the review is. I'm gonna go record the review right now. Hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye bye. Final.